I feel what? so basic one now in my own. No, but Paul, one you. last quick question here. So sorry, we're out of time. Come on, come on, come on, give it, give it, give it. Let's dance. Surprisingly, Secret Invasion is the first movie or show you have appeared together. What was the first thing you said to each other on set? Um, I, I can't remember. I, I'm... I think you called me mama straight away and I was like, oh yeah, baby, we are into it. This is gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. I was very intimidated because I'm a massive got freak and all that. I can't that. believe he's you saying know? this to me. By the way, me and my friends, pri way prior to this, have a Mendelssohn fan club. It's a fan club for people who like this man and are obsessed with this man. When I told them I was doing this, and they're like, yeah, someone checks, it's amazing. Oh my God, I love you, come on. Oh my God, Mendo, what? Now no. I'm like, hey guys, I've got Ben Mendelssohn's number. <laughs> I win. You said you like my sneakers. Man, they were dope sneakers. I just told her she had these dope sneakers on. But she walked in the room, I was in there, I was being loud, she said. I think I was being loud, but I looked at her and I just loud. burst out laughing. We did, we got the giggles. It was a sort of. It was like, oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> she really is here. Yeah, so you weren't lying to me. She's here. Okay. Is it harder to play a villain or a hero? The pressure of being a hero is a hard mantle for me, and I just think that maybe a villain's more fun. Uh, I think it's more fun to play a villain. No, it's more fun to play a villain. Yeah. Why is that? Because you never get to be a villain in real life. I think. That part. But when I'm a villain, I want people to know that I'm not sitting at home counting my bullets or shopping my knife all day. You know, I have normal things that I do. I go to the grocery store, I pick up my kids from school, you know, yeah. but I'm evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like I've dabbled in both. I honestly think it's hard to play a hero. With a hero, you're like, hey, I'm nice. Guess what? I'm going to stay nice for the duration of this show. And that is a bit boring to play, isn't it? You're like, yeah, no, I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm with her, I'm with her, I'm with her. It's harder to play the hero. What's yeah. most fun about playing a villain and you've played a villain? The, you, get, you get to have, um, you get to use the emotional sets that are usually the naughty emotions. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? It's the That's angry right. emotions, the mm -hmm. sad emotions, the revenge emotions. You can be exactly. rude to people. Exactly. And it's kind of expected. <laughs> and it's got a power to it, a malevolent, yes. you know, it's got fun to yes. it. Yes. This is a ticking time bomb. And it was you who lit the match. Is Maria Hill the true MVP of the MCU? <laughs> I know, I don't think so. <laughs> no? I mean, power of the Bluetooth? Uh, she has the ability to call anyone. And she's got a, the Rolodex for that chick is, um, is, is deep. And uh, I don't think so. I don't think she's the MVP. I, I'd like to think she's somewhat integral, but I don't think MVP. I mean, she does keep Nick in check though, doesn't she? She does, she does, but she's been calling him for a while and I guess she has not been answering. So. Mm, good point, good point. See, that's what I'm worried about. Every good spy film has features a mixed drink. What is your character's go-to drink at a bar? Oh, mine's probably a beer. I think she, she thinks she's like a pint yeah, yeah. kind of girl, do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a beer or when time gets hard, just like a straight whiskey. Old fashioned, no old fashioned and we're, we're out. I think she just drinks, uh, Tea with lots of sugar. <laughs> I think that was a choice that got made randomly one day and we just stuck with it. Probably sparkling water with lime. Something boring like that. Sort of like my interviews. I'm kind of a boring interview. You are you know? not a boring interview uh, and sparkling water is not boring at all. Okay, it's, great. It's got it's got effervescence, right? right? It's got effervescence. I mean, you get so many choices of sparkling water. If you could shape shift into anyone past or present, who would it be? Someone 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 in football. I always want to be in those dressing rooms. I just want to be around it. Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for my season tickets at the moment for Arsenal. Who's your favorite football player? Probably Odegaard. I, like he's I feel really blessed to have him or or Gabriel, you know, like those guys. I'm like, God, oh, these guys Five, six years ago, they would have went straight to Man City, but they're with us. This is great. <laughs> the honest answer is Neil Young. Um, but, you know, I also say I've been to enough therapy that I'm happy where I am. I would be Alanis Morissette when the Jagged Little Pill was out on tour. She really just, like, blazed a path for so many female mu musicians. Like, nobody was really... There wasn't a, a, a woman out there. I mean, there was, like, Madonna was just kind of going into the 90s with something new, but there wasn't, like a rocker chick out there yet. And that was thrilling. You've played Malcolm X, Barack Obama, you're gonna play Bob Marley. How does that compare to playing the latest MCU villain? It's very different. <laughs> it's just a part of the appeal. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're all fun in, all, they're all fun in different ways. Bob in particular is just the music and the dancing. It was great, great, a treat. Yeah. Without sounding too weird, I guess, or sadistic. It's just like, <laughs> yo, this guy hates everyone and wants to see, yeah. see the whole place burn down. Like, how do you make this truthful? Who are these guys? What yeah. do they... Like, how, where does this come from? Yep. What, what, what's going on here? They, they wanted to ground the show and make it kind of more real. And um, so I was like, yeah, this is an opportunity to play something different. Uh, no, one's, no one's ever come to me for a villain before. So yeah, I was like, no. this might be the last time, so. Does anyone know more about Nick Fury than Samuel L. Jackson? Oh, um, you know, probably not. This is personal. The Nick Fury that Sam knows so well uh, over the course of the last 15 years becomes something different, something more internal, something more personal, something, I don't want to say deeper, but you know, something more deeper in that way, psychologically deeper. It becomes an exploration for him. So he knows a lot. He brings that knowledge to this exploration, but he's also very open to collaboration and understanding other versions of, of what he might be doing and experiencing. What is your favorite Samuel L. Jackson movie of all time? Oh my God. You don't have to answer that. I think that's quite difficult. I think, I, we still, when with the kids, we still quote Tasty Burger. This is a Tasty Burger. Oh, the that's Pulp Fiction thing. Yeah. Uh, mm. As, I know that's it not. It is a Tasty Burger. Yeah, yeah. Well, I love it. That performance and John Travolta, those two together. I mean, those performances just blow my mind. You yeah. know, like Sam in that film is a force, man. Royality. Royality. The energy, the presence, the lines, the most quotable film of all time, the everything. Do you guys just have Pulp Fiction parties on set? Um, I'm gonna say yes, because I wish we did. <laughs> Everybody likes that movie. Do you have brilliant? Yeah, no, it was a wonderful thing to do. Yeah. Really wonderful, serious, wonderful, wonderful. And gentle and religious while doing all those things. <laughs> it was so brilliant. Well, allow me to retort. Did you compare Star Wars stories and would you ever want to revisit your Star Wars characters? We did a little Star we Wars did, we swap. Did, we, we talked about Star Wars yeah, a bit. Yeah, we and, did. And would you want to revisit your Star Wars character? Well, you know what? Um, uh, let me take this question. <laughs> I got this question. I, I, listen. I'm in Marvel now, I'm not allowed. What about you? He, well, he built the Death Star, so yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. you know, yeah. I, I would potentially revisit, although it's difficult, you know. Yeah. Mine is a little rogue, reasons. you see. My character's a little, like, kind of, kind of, kind of and messy on the side situation. Yeah. You're, like, in it. Yeah, and plus, you if you're it. in the Empire, too, you're in the Empire. Yeah. Anyone can be a rebel. I'm very far from the Empire. Yeah. Anyone All can of be. that stuff. Anyone can be a rebel. Next question. So we've been catching up with Tom Holland and Catherine Newton, both of whom have made claim to being among the best golfers in the MCU. I might be the best golfer in the MCU. <laughs> Aren't you the best golfer in the MCU? I don't know. Have you played with anyone in the MCU? I played with Don a lot. How'd that go? Fine. We've gone to the same golf club, so I see him. I haven't played with, with, with Tom Holland. I've heard about his game. I haven't seen him hit. I've never seen him swing. I've never seen him hit a ball. I just hear him talk about it. <laughs> I think Mackie plays, but Mackie's probably <laughs> terrible. Anthony Mackie will tell you he's the best golfer in the MCU, but he is not. <laughs> Tom said the same thing. Guarantee you, he is not. I have too much of his money in my pocket to be honest. <laughs> 